First, the breaking news overnight. No class for public school students in Chicago, one of the nation's largest districts, as the teachers union raises concerns over COVID safety during this new surge. Alex Press is on the scene with how city officials are reacting. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning, George. Until late last night, schools like this one were prepared to have classes today, but the union says with the current COVID surge, teachers just don't feel safe. This morning, no classes for about 300,000 Chicago Public Schools students. Unfortunately, CT leadership is compelling its membership to make a decision that will harm hundreds of thousands of Chicago families who rely upon CPS for their daily needs, for their education, for their nutrition, for their safety. That's real harm. The Chicago Teachers Union defying Mayor Lori Lightfoot, saying 73% of its members voted to return to remote learning, arguing that a surge in COVID cases makes classrooms unsafe. The union saying teachers will return to schools either when the COVID surge ends or when the mayor signs an agreement establishing conditions for return that are voted on and approved by the CTU House of Delegates. But city officials instead canceling classes Wednesday and firing back at the union insisting that COVID hospitalizations among children in Chicago are low. Our schools are safe. There is no evidence that our schools have ever been unsafe. And the union is calling for more widespread COVID testing availability. It remains unclear when classes will resume. Some schools will be open with limited staff for essential services. Robin. All right, Alex, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.